If you've driven on Port Wayne's West Main Street lately, you're bound to notice some changes. But a lot of what's going on you can't see just yet. News Channel 15's Gina Gleros joins us from Studio 15. I'm told the long-term goal is making this corridor family-friendly while providing housing and amenities for University of St. Francis students. If this corridor on West Main Street could talk, the president of the Nebraska Neighborhood Association says it would tell quite a story. From business booming in the 50s, then much of it being washed away in the flood of 82. The last 10 years, he says, has brought real change. I love being back in town and be a part of Fort Wayne and downtown, and that's what I'm most excited about. Luke Messman is transforming the former Outlaws Motorcycle Club into the soon-to-be hot yoga Fort Wayne. Having the lobby area with the bathrooms and where we have changing rooms before the yoga studio. It's the latest announcement in the area that's working to attract small and local business. I'm excited, excited for the change, excited for new, to, new things to come to the neighborhood. Across the street, the new Skeletoons Lounge in Petal City, giving people like Jody Vores more reasons to be excited. This is an aerial view of the Redwood Inn down the street. The new owner recently knocked down five buildings making way for this patio. The space next to it will be another hangout area set to be finished next month. A portion of this street from Redwood Inn to the farmer's market was rezoned last year, allowing for mixed residential and retail use. Junk Ditch Brewing Company behind the new marathon now hiring. Our whole business model is to make sure that we're a brewery that also has awesome food or a restaurant that happens to have incredible beer. The Affine food truck owner's vision began in 2013. They hope to open its doors to the 100 and some year old building this spring or summer. We thought Main Street was a really good location to start this business because it's close to downtown. Um, it's in the downtown improvement district, so it's receiving grants and things like that. Um, and it's still close enough to neighborhoods and uh, areas of interest like Jefferson Point and that side of town. An antique store is also moving in. We'll continue to, of course, follow these developments. We're live in Studio 15, Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.